Hello everyone, this is Ashley from Ashley's Creations and I have another haul video for you today. And I just got in my paper tray ink order from their um, June release. Um, you know, not too long ago I just posted that other video. But I realized there's some things that I still wanted and I didn't put on my order because it had already gotten too big and I should have just put it on. But my friend Michelle was going to send an order so I figured hey I'll put the couple things that I want on there. But then by the time I... I uh, totaled up all the things that I wanted. I was like, I can just get the free shipping myself, so I'll just go ahead and put in my own order and it ended up being way more than 70, so whatever, either way. I got all, a bunch more things that I wanted from Paper Tray Ink. Um, I decided to go ahead and pick up some more of their felt. I have um, maybe about 10, 11 colors already. I just wanted to pick up some more because I didn't, I didn't have any yellows, so I ended up getting the Harvest Gold. And then... I, Hibiscus Burst has become one of my favorite colors from them, so I decided to go ahead and pick up that color. It's just such a gorgeous pink. It's, you know, it's even prettier to me than Raspberry Fizz in the felt, I think. So, we'll see. And then I also picked up Aqua Mist, because I, you know, I didn't really like that color before, but it's kind of grown on me. Pool Party is my favorite Stampin' Up! color, and it kind of reminds me of Pool Party, so it's kind of grown on me, so I thought I'd pick up the felt for that. And then I also picked up the fine linen ink pad. Apparently I didn't have it. I thought I had all the colors, but um, I have it now, so there we go. And then I picked up a mini stamp set. I picked up the Simple Sunflower, so it looks like that. I've seen some really cute things done with it, and so I go on to get it and go ahead and try it out, so I, I also picked up the matching dye to go with it, so I'm excited to try that one. I've seen some really cute things with it as the background, so I've seen Nicole stamp this to make her own pattern paper, so I'm probably going to try that. Um, the next thing I got is this Say It With Style, and Nicole did a really cool card with the, um, the new Sun, I think it's Sunburst, whatever the Sun one is that just came out. She did a really cool card with one of these sayings on here, and I, I wanted to get it so I could make a card similar to hers, so I picked up the, uh, Say It With Style, and it just has this really cool font with the words, so, you know, it's got happy birthday, congrats, celebrate. Uh, fabulous smooches, love you, thank you, um, you rock, smile, happy, sweet, hi, hey, hiya, and it's got the other ones, um, for you there, you make me, you are so tons, you deserve it, so, um, I like the style of that font, I'm really excited to try that one out, and then I also picked up the, I think this is called By the Numbers, it's just the, the number dies. They're really good size, and um, I haven't really been using my Cricut as much. I, I love my Cricut, but it's just a lot easier, you know, to cut something out by running it through my Big Shot than having to find the cartridge that I want, turn it, plug it into my machine, turn my machine on, size it, and whatever. When I have these, you know, already right here for me. So I've been using the dies a lot more lately than my Cricut. Well, I mean, I'll go back to it. I go, th I go through phases. I was using my Cricut for a long time, and I, I've just been doing a lot of stamping lately because I've gotten a lot of stamping things in. So I got the By the Numbers stamp set, and then um, I picked up, or not stamp set, die set. I picked up the Royal Velvet Copic markers, the three markers that match the Royal Velvet, and they are, if you can see, BV29, BV13, and BV08. So Royal Velvet is my favorite paper tray ink color. I love purple. It's my favorite color of all time. So and I decided to go ahead and pick up those two. Now, I only have three Copic markers, and I don't really know how to use them, but I'm going to try and learn. So Now, a while ago I lended my um, Lighten Up stamp set. It's the one with the, the lamps and the sayings, you know, you lighten my life, you, sending a note to brighten your day, or, you know, sayings like that. And I lent it to her to... Um, make some cards with because she loved mine. Her mother-in-law loved mine. Or it was her mom or her mother-in-law. Um, so she wanted to make her own cards from it. And she was searching online some ideas on how to use the stamp set. And she found the lamps with some cute um, like armchairs and a couch and stuff. And she asked me, does Paper Tray Ink have a, a cushy armchair set? And I was like, I don't know. I, I don't know. That's a good question. She's, she said, I've been seeing some really cute cards with this uh, armchair set. So I went online and I checked it out, and I found that they have this really cute couch stamp set. It's called On My Couch, and it's really old. It's from like 2009, I think, but I just, I had to pick it up. 
It was the cutest thing ever. And it'll go really good with the light set. Now there's a light already in here, but you can mix and match. And I've seen some really cute, um, really cute cards with it, so I'm really excited. So there's a couch, sorry, and an armchair to go with it. So they've got the outline, and then you could stamp it with this pattern. You could stamp it just a solid pattern. You could stamp this on uh, patterned paper and cut it out with patterned paper, whatever you wanted to do. But there's also, you know, a little jar. I don't know what you would call those, maybe. I don't know, there's some kind of flower thing right there. Um, some throw pillows, so you can stamp it in different colors, and a couple, a circle throw pillow. And here's the little, the little feet for the, the armchair and the uh, uh, couch. And these are the things. It says, "Let's chat. Time to relax. Let me lighten your load." Because there's a, a lamp right there. Need a couch day? Let's get together. Potato optional. I think that's funny that I'm gonna use that one. Come on over, friend. Thank you for always being by my side. So that could be, you know, for the armchair. The armchair's always next to a couch. Feel better soon. Your couch or mine, or I cherish your friendship. There's also... Okay, sorry about that. My camera died. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, you could use the table to put the different things on. And there's also um, a, a picture here that you could, you know, hang on the wall. I'm not really sure what that is. I'll have to figure that out. But anyway, so that's the, uh, on the on my couch. I thought it was really cute, and I'm really excited to try and use it. I found some cute things already online. And I got the matching um, die set. And it's a lot smaller than I thought, but that's okay. And then they also had on my couch additions. So I had to have that one too, of course. So let me pull out the label to show you. Now this one's got another chair. It's got a polka dotted chair and a couch. And then I love it because it's got a little cat that you could put on top of it. It's got another picture. I love it because it has a little rug so you can create a little scene and there's some books that you can put on the on the table. And then it says, we all have our good old days tucked away inside our hearts and we return to them in daydreams like cats to favorite armchairs. I think that's a cute saying because there's the cat right there. It says, hope you're fully recovered soon. I think that one's funny. Just sitting here thinking of you. It's time for some girl talk. A good friend is like a special chair ready to comfort you and let you know they care. So I'm really excited to use this. I think it's so cute. I'm, I'm going to definitely combine both of those together. And I also picked up a couple uh, things of paper. I was running out of orange zest, raspberry fizz, and enchanted evening, so I picked those up. But I also got something else in the mail, and it was from scrapbook.com. I saw one of the design team members make the cutest card with some of this paper, so I wanted to get it and try it out too. Um, this is Fancy Pants Designer Specialty Trim, I guess. I, I don't know. I it was on sale and they had used it in their card too so I picked it up as well and it's just some different you know blue trim to put on a card or whatever and then I was absolutely in love with this paper collection it's a fancy pants time for spring collection kit it is the cutest I am in love with it I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the stuff that came with it so there's this one and then the background Kind of like ledgery paper. Kind of, I don't know. Blue one. It's just like a cream color. Polka dots. I like that one. And a brownish color. I love this one. This would go really well with the hexagon die that I got. Paper tray ink. And then just some red. I like this one too. And there's just some pink on the back teapots, more of that same kind of paper from the beginning. This one's really pretty. I like this too. This reminds me of Pool Party from Stampin' Up. Some more teapots. Um, this one's just kind of bluish. This one's really cool. More of that one lined paper. This one's got banners at the top. Just the back. I love this striped one. Green, plaid, orange, and then it came with some cutouts, so these are kind of cool, they match the paper, and then some stickers. So that was my scrapbook haul, and they also included something free, some free, you know, little flowers from Prisma Marketing, so... Anyway, that's my haul. I, I have more coming in tomorrow, so look for another one. It'll be from joanne.com. Um, so anyway, thank you for watching. Bye. Have a great day.